Hey guys, Brett here. Just a little introduction about myself, as this is like the first video that I've ever made to anybody. I'm 20, I live in the United Kingdom, like the boring person, and I've just come out as transgender to my friends and my brother. I know, right? Massive deal. Basically, I made this video because I wanted to talk about what it was like for those that are scared to come out or are just interested because there's those people out there. Um, if you aren't sure what transgender is, it's where your gender doesn't match your sex. Um, well, I'm technically a female, as I have all the lady parts, Ill. Um, but I identify as a male. I think like a guy. The majority of the time I act like a guy, unless of course there's a spider, then I scream to the high heavens. To be honest, I'm just one massive guy. But yeah, it's a big deal coming out as transgender. It's just like coming out as gay or lesbian or anything else you come out as and to be honest there's a lot of nerves around it like because there's a lot of social negativity and everything and it it can be a problem to a lot of people because they're really narrow-minded and weirdos to be honest uh, each of their own they've all got their own opinions i've been feeling like a guy for as long as i can remember uh, literally since i was a kid i was always chasing the girls Kiss Chase I was always chasing the girls. Yeah, you know, play like mum's dad, all of that. I always had to be the dad. It was just, no, it was it was wrong to be the mum. Uh, now I feel really happy and really free and my cat has come to join me, so I apologise if this goes terribly wrong. Um, do you want to meet my cat? My cat. Look at that. She's a kitty. This is Tabitha. She still loves me no matter what. As cats do. Uh, I've told so many people now, um, mainly all my friends. Most of them I did through Facebook. Some of them to their face, and some of them through Instagram, just because it was easier, and I don't really talk to many of them anymore. The laptop's moving because my cat is being annoying, just to let you know. My brother, I told him yesterday, along with his two best friends, are happy for me. And my brother especially worried me the most because obviously he's my little brother, and I was scared of what he was going to think. But no, he, he actually reacted really well to it and he's happy for me as long as I don't eventually get a bigger dick than him, which could be a slight problem. To give any advice, um, it would be just be yourself. I'd say tell your best friend first because they're your best friend. I think they're going to understand and probably know before you even tell them. Just happens to be the way. I. Yeah, as I said, I told mine all over Facebook, um, it was easier because I suffer <laughs> from anxiety attacks and um, yeah, I knew that sitting down face to face it wasn't going to work because I'd just panic and not be able to say anything. So if that's like you, then Facebook's a good way because you can do group chats or text them or whatever that makes you feel happier or write them a letter. Sometimes letters work, um, but all of my friends were so supportive. Um, it was it was weird i was expecting so many questions like so many questions i got none absolutely zilch it's weird not having questions and just having people accept you and i know unfortunately this isn't going to be the case for absolutely everyone but luckily for me that was the case for me and i'm really happy about that i've still got all my friends by my side and i've still got my little brother but if you are going to come out just have some answers ready yeah, questions. If you think it would be easier, I'd suggest having answers ready in case there are questions. You might get questions like, how long have you known? Why haven't you told us sooner? What are you planning to do, like surgery-wise, all of this? Like, you're going to get the questions and you're going to have to answer them, if you do get them. I'm not sure. That's perfectly fine. Some people aren't too sure at this stage. Um, if you haven't thought that far in advance about, like, taking testosterone or any surgeries that you want to have, then it's absolutely fine. It's not a problem. People like to stay exactly the way they are because that's how they're happy um, whereas other people would like to have surgery to change their appearance and uh, take hormones to help them deepen their voice um, grow like so much body hair so myself personally uh, I know that I want to start taking testosterone because I want a deeper voice as if it's not deep enough as well as the more masculine figure that hopefully it will help me to achieve because I'm just pathetic and I also want hair, like so much facial hair, could like, imagine me with a beard, like that'd be amazing, like just, I want a beard. Um, and I know that I also want to have chest surgery, like just nubbubs, nubbubs whatsoever. 
it's it's not for me they get in the way and i like i like being topless and yeah it doesn't it doesn't work that way so but yeah if you're not sure you're not sure that's fine um but yeah that's me for today I'll probably put up another video soon i want to do an interview with my brother and my best friend at some point so you can so i can ask them questions you can get an idea of like how they felt when i came out to them and everything but yeah if anyone has any questions or anything then they're welcome to get in touch through either the comments which is obviously down below or on my tumblr which i'll put in the description box which is also down below but for now um we're out Ugh, this cat isn't helping i apologize do you mind <laughs>